What's up guys, it's Will with JW Gaming, and I hope you guys are making the easy little transition into Black Ops 2. It's been out for a couple of days now. I know none of us out there are actually missing Modern Warfare 3. Um, if you are missing Modern Warfare 3, then, you know, you need to fall off the earth, I guess. Uh, anyway, this is a video going to show you guys a few tips and tricks that I have found for Black Ops 2, specifically Black Ops 2's Nuketown map, uh, that helped me consistently win TDM games. Um, for those of you that are complete noobs and have no idea what I'm talking about, TDM is abbreviation Team Deathmatch, obviously. Uh, the gun I'm using, let's go ahead and get this out of the way right now, I believe is the M27. Uh, it's an assault rifle, it is a fully automatic, I have a red dot sight and something else on it. I'm not sure what the other thing is. Um, anyway, my first tip I'm going to give you guys is if you are going to play TDM on this map or you end up with it out of the uh, voting screen, uh, play defensively if you are a defensive player. If you're a rusher, just do what you do and completely ignore this. But if you are a defensive player, um, these will help, definitely help you. I am a very defensive player. Um, first of all, when you rush off of the spawn, either side, doesn't matter, you want to try to take control of the center. Um, contrary to what most people believe, most people believe that you're better off taking over one of the houses. Um, that is wrong. That is that is just camping, and that is going to piss everybody off. And I strongly believe there is a difference between camping and defending an area. Um, me, personally, I pretty much spawn and run straight for this particular car. Or I run to that trailer that you saw me run to at the beginning. Uh, there goes my little paper airplane or the hunter killer drone, whatever. Um, now I got my little care packages and all that stuff. I'm just kind of hanging out, waiting for the care package, and I'm going to keep trying to push my way back that direction no matter what. Um, I'm going to try to try my best to stay between the car and that trailer as much as I possibly can. Um, if you can hold down the middle, you can pretty much win the TDM because you can control both spawns um, no matter when they flip. Uh, so if, you, if they're spawning over, like right here where I'm spawning, you can just turn to your right. Bam, kill them, move on. Spawn the other side, turn to your left, same thing, yada, yada, yada. Uh, stupid little shock charges things. Um, one thing I am going to tell you, the shock charges are very helpful. You will see me actually use them um, pretty good here soon. Um, I get a couple of kills. I actually stun a couple people with them, then I kill them. Uh, here comes one. See, right there, it shocks him, and he's like, oh, what the fuck? Uh. So now that takes care of that. I do throw another one over there, just hoping to get somebody, and lo and behold, woohoo, there he is. Uh, later on, you're actually going to see that I actually direct impact somebody. These little fucking shock charge things are like throwing knives. You throw them the same way. Um, so you can kill somebody with them if you hit them directly. Uh, so you saw my little calling card thing over there. That's the season pass one for all of you that are wondering. Uh, oh, also, the camo that I'm using, if you don't know, it is the... Uh, one you get for the DLC for being a elite founder. Uh, when you load up Black Ops 2, it'll actually tell you that you're an elite founder. So that takes care of that. Now, you see me just constantly dying and trying to get up there. Uh, so I'm just throwing my shock charges, hoping to stun somebody. I'm trying to hold them at the center point. You do not want them to try to take over the center. If they take over the center of this map, you are screwed. Now, most people think that when they take over the center, like I said before, it's better off to run into a house. Do not do that. Because what's going to happen is if you run into the houses and you go to the little sniper perches, the little windows, you're actually going to flip the spawns. You will flip them periodically. You will sit there all by yourself. You'll have teammates behind you. Next thing you know, you got three or four enemies that are spawning behind you because you have no control over it that way. If you stay on the ground and stay fighting for that center position, you can control the engagement. And that's what this is all about. That's what my tips and tricks are all about. Now, here it comes right here. Whoop Smacked him right in the fucking head with the damn thing, yeah. Uh, this is when I remembered I had C4. I <laughs> totally forgot I had it. Uh, this little gun, though, uh, in case you guys want to try it out, it's not too bad. It seems kind of weird with the firing, though. Like, it's fully auto, but it wants to shoot, like, bursts for some reason. Um, I don't know if that's just me, or maybe it's my controller being stupid. I really have no idea. 
But yeah, yeah, as you can actually see, these t uh, little tips do work. Uh, you constantly see me fighting back for this car. Um, if I come across any more tips and tricks, and you know, I'll let you guys know. But if you guys like this video and these tips actually helped you out and win you in your TDM matches, click that like button because it'll definitely help me out and help everybody else out involved. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.